Hello, everybody, and welcome to this new module. It's an optional module delivered for senior students in electrical and communication engineering department or program. Hey, hello, this is Sam Abdelatif, lecturer in the uh, electrical engineering department. It's a pleasure for me to be with you during this semester in offering this optional module entitled by Energy Harvested Systems. So let me first start with sharing the slides for lecture number zero, where we are going to demonstrate quickly the outlines and the main assessments in this module across the 12 week semester, inshallah. As mentioned earlier, this is an energy harvesting system course with a code 22 ECE 32H, it's an H level module by default, an optional module to be delivered for senior year. First of all, I think we should highlight the title of this module. So what is energy harvesting? What does it mean by energy harvesting? Maybe it's not 100% uh, clear in literature or it's common in literature. What is energy harvesting? But let me see or let me discuss it from my perspective. Generally speaking, and maybe tens 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago as we are talking about renewable energy or the science of gaining energy or converting energy from surrounding sources of energy, including, for example, light energy, thermal energy, wind energy, and all this stuff. And I'm quite sure that you have already heard a lot about that. Uh, maybe in newspaper, maybe in your projects, maybe some of you already selected uh, graduation projects related to renewable energy systems. But recently, and with the developing of the IoT technology, or what we can call Internet of Things technology, and by the booming of the low power scale application, a, a new version of renewable energy glows up. This is what's called energy harvesting. It's a process of harvesting or capturing energy for low power application. Usually, when we use the word energy harvesting, we are considering low power application, which is somehow different when you use the word renewable energy for mega scale application project or kilowatt scale application, uh, scale project or something like that. So this is what is, this is maybe the big difference between re renewable energy in general and harvesting the energy or energy harvesting in, in specific. As I just mentioned, the IoT applications was one of the main customer for these energy harvestings. One of the very, very uh, spreaded terms nowadays is what's called the self-powered sensors. A self-powered sensors are those sensors who ca or which can work and sustain without the need of a battery. It is, it's really challenging to have a um, sensor without a battery because whenever you are considering wireless sensor nodes, the weakest point usually in these nodes is the battery. This is because that the very limited lifetime of the battery. So whenever you can provide a node without a need of a battery, this extremely enhances the lifetime of the node. And in order to have a self-powered node, then you should have a, an energy harvester source for this application. Okay, so this can be seen whenever you screen literature for the overlapping area between the IoT and the wireless sensor networks and the internet of things and energy harvesting. And you can see to what extent literature, researchers, and the industrial community as well is uh, interested in such topic. So let's now go into the main pillars of our curriculum or our course content for this semester. Of course, as far as we are considering energy harvesting, then obviously we are going to tackle the main typical energy harvesters nowadays. Herein, we can investigate three types of energy harvesters. The first is the light harvesters. And it is very important to know that there is a bit different between light harvesters and solar cells. This may be one of the topics we are going to tackle 
in the next few lectures. Then we are going to also consider the mechanical vibration of pressure using piezoelectrical material. And finally, thermal effects or thermal energy, thermoelectrical energy under the name of CPIC effect. These are the main famous or the most famous energy harvesters nowadays. Then we are going to go to the interfacing circuit. It's not only a harvester. Any harvester is backstaged by a series of uh, uh, interfacing circuits. So we are going to consider these interfacing circuits. One of the most uh, common used interfacing circuits is the DC DC converters, either in the back or the boost uh, topology. So we are going to consider this as well as other interfacing circuits. Also, we will consider the uh, possibility of utilizing machine learning models in optimizing such energy management system under the device, electronic device informatics topic. And I think this is one of the most recently developed topics in literature. To overview this, the, the lecture, the, the course content, you can use this slide. We will start with some sort of uh, recover, uh, recovery or flashback on some optoelectronic principles. I believe that most of these principles you already have seen before. Sometimes you will you will face some new data because I think based on your bylaws, you didn't have uh, the opportunity to have a separated course for materials and for semiconductors. You already take these dose under the solid state uh, electronics uh, course. So maybe you will need to know much more information with respect to that. You already have uh, gained from the solid state uh, course. Uh, then we will go to light harvesters then thermoelectrical harvesters, then piezoelectrical harvesters. After that, we will go to analog interfacing circuits, including the DC-DC converter. Then we will go to energy management in principle. After that, we will have some complete prototypes for self-power sensors for IoT applications. And finally, we will introduce the informatics term using some potential machine learning models. As usual, you can uh, monitor our lectures using the YouTube channel um, or the playlist. You will find a, a, a dedicated playlist under the name of uh, ECE um, 32H, uh, Energy Harvesting System, where you can uh, monitor all the lectures, starting from this lecture, lecture number zero, till uh, the end of the course, inshallah. Uh, concerning the assessment and based on module specs, we have three components. We have unseen exam with 60% by the end of the semester. We have an in-class test with 20% and uh, one hour in-class test. And we have also another 20% for project. It's a group project. And the target in this, in this project is to prototype a complete energy harvesting system. You can see from this slide, this is a typical model for a self-powered sensor where we have an input signal for a sensor, we have a processing unit and we have a communication link, which can be an optical link or an RF link. And in parallel, we have an energy management system, including an energy harvester, uh, an energy management uh, uh, circuit, interfacing circuit, and sometimes maybe you can use a buffer or a storage system. So your focus will be here to build a complete prototype for an energy harvester. You have the opportunity to choose either a light harvester, either uh, a thermoelectrical, piezoelectrical material, thermoelectrical harvester, whatever you want. We will facilitate disease prototype by giving you uh, some boosting session on the simulators needed for that. Also, we will uh, provide uh, uh, the experimental material needed for the prototyping and all this stuff, of course. We will provide also support in case you need any technical support on that. By the end of the day, you should prototype a complete harvester with this interfacing circuit, either on a simulation level or in an experimental level. This will be an added value, of course. You can find our in our e-learning page, you can find the complete weekly plan of the module where you can find the 
um, uh, time allocation for the in-class test and the, all the sessions, and also for the project submission and discussion dates. You will find it also uh, in this uh, uh, time plan. Of course, all the material delivered in the module will be uploaded immediately on the e-learning. Already, you will find all the material related to chapter number one, which is uh, upper electronic principle, which we will going to start immediately after this uh, lecture and all related data in the e-learning. That's all for the course outline or the module outline um, zero lecture. And now it's time to go to the first lecture, inshallah, entitled by upper electronic principle. Thank you very much for your concentration and looking forward for a technical start for this module. Thank you very much.